Welcome everybody. This is uh, English Fanatics. Uh, today we are going to talk about theoretical part and at the end we are going to have uh, a practical part. As you see from this chart, English symbols, fanatic symbols. You see here at the top place of articulation from front to back, front of the mouth to back of the mouth. And uh, at your left uh, hand, on your left hand, you see the column, manner of articulation, uh, glossive, affricate, fricative, nasal, lateral, approximate. And for place of articulation, you see by labial, labial dental, dental, alveolar, palatal alveolar, palatal, velar, glottal. And you see how sounds are distributed. We will go in details. You see, this is the uh, this diagram for the places of articulation and uh, organs of speech. From the upper lip till the uh, uh, tongue divisions, front and back. You see upper lip, nasal cavity, upper teeth, alveolar ridge, number four, heart palate, number five, soft palate, uvula, Varynx, glottis, larynx, lower teeth, lower lip, tongue, and different parts of the tongue. Here, these are the definitions. Bilabial means using closing movement of both lips. Bilabial, from lips. Labiodental, using the lower lip and the upper teeth. Labiodental, lips plus Teeth. Dental. The tongue tip is used either between the teeth or close to the upper teeth. Alveolar. It means the blade of the tongue is used to close the alveolar ridge. Vela to alveolar. The blade or tip of the tongue is used just behind the alveolar ridge. Palatal. The front of the tongue is raised close to the blade. Palatal. Velar, the back of the tongue is used against the soft palate. The back of the tongue. Glottal, the gap between the vocal cords is used to make audible friction. Glottal. Next, we have these definitions for the manner of speech. Number one, glossive. Sometimes we, we say stop sound. A plosive sound, complete closure. Complete closure is made somewhere in the vocal tract. And the soft palate is also raised. Air pressure increases behind the closure. And then released explosively. And this is called sodium fijari. Explosive or plosive. African sound, a complete closure is made somewhere in the mouth and the soft palate is raised. Air pressure increases behind the closure and is then released more slowly than implosive. So the difference that release more slowly, such as ch, j, this African sound, these two, ch and j. Fricative. Fricative sound when two vocal co uh, organs come close enough together for the movement of air between them to be heard. F and V. Fricative sound. So, احتكاكي. Nasal sound is a closure. A closure is made by the lips or by the tongue against the palate. The soft palate is lowered and air escapes through the nose. For example, M sound and N sound. Lateral, a partial closure is made by the blade of the tongue against the alveolar ridge. Air is able to flow around the sides of the tongue, such as L, 
lateral south. Approximate sound. Vocal organs come near to each other, but not so close as to cause audible friction, such as R and W. Approximate sound. These are uh, examples of these uh, sounds. S we have the word sun. L look here, the, the, the tip of the tongue or the blade of the tongue is raised against the heart palate. But it is fricative sound, s s sun. It is not closure. Z the same what has happened in s we see in z difference is or the different feature is being voiced that z sound here is voiced s is voiceless you see this one s it is voiceless sound z is a voiced sound Next example is thin, thin, th sound. Thin. And the, the, the voiced counterpart is the, the, feather, feather. Look at the drawing or the diagram. Feather, the, the. Here you see in the drawing the upper teeth and lower lip. So this sound is fricative, air coming uh, or uh, uh, goes between the upper teeth and lower lip. F -f -fan. The next example is v -v -v van. What is the difference? The difference is F voiceless, V voiced sound. Here you see approximate W. Here you see this approximation at the at the back of the tongue. W, 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 w. Window. Look at this diagram. This sound M. M, m. Here, m, here closure here between the upper upper lip upper upper lip and lower lip. Air goes out through the nose through the nasal cavity, and it is voiced, of course. An example is mouth. M -m mouth. Next one is nose. Here the closure, look at this one, the closure here between the, the tip of the tongue and the alveolar ridge. Air goes out through the nasal cavity. It is nasal sound as M. And it is voiced. But the difference between M and N, just the place of articulation. In M, we have bilabial. In N, it is alveolar. This sound is velar nasal, which is Ing. ing, 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 you see the composition of two letters, N and G, ing, ring, so here the, the closure at the, at the back of the tongue and it goes out, air goes out through the nasal cavity, it is also voiced, here next example is lateral, L. The tip of the tongue touches the alveolar ridge, and air escapes through the both both lat, uh, sides of the, the tongue. Escapes through uh, 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 the sides of the tongue. Litter. R R. Next example is R sound. R sound. Rain. R. It is approximate. Here you see air 
the tip of the tongue is raised again is the heart ballad and it is voiced next example is look at this diagram an example tin you see here complete closure between the the tip of the tongue and the alveolar ridge then air is uh, is stopped then it is released suddenly it is a plosive sound or a stop sound T tin another example of a stop sound or plosive sound is the door door the same manner and the same place of articulation but the difference between t and d t is voiceless d is voiced here sh sound sh sound is fricative sh the next one is j j j is also fricative but the difference between sh and j Sh is voiceless, J is voiced. Here we have the affricate sound. Affricate sound, both. We have a stop plus fricative. T, sh, ch, sherry, sherry, ch. First, we have complete closure. T, t, then it is released with. With, with raising the uh, the blade of the tongue against the heart palate. So it is a compound of stop sound plus uh, fricative sound. Another example, another uh, sound is ch, ch. It is composed of the plus ch sound. Jam, jam. Then next one is ye, 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 yellow. It is a proximal sound. Ye, yellow. This one is f, f sound. Pin, pin. It is bilabial. Stop sound or plosive sound. Here, the place of articulation, bilabial. Manner of articulation, it is through blockage of air pressure air, air uh, uh, stream then it is released suddenly but, but it is plosive it is voiceless but, but, but. it is the other voiced counterpart but it is bilabial it is uh, plosive sound or stop sound and it is voiced but, baby sound it is a stop sound but it is velar sound the place is different here the, the closure here at the at the back of the tongue as you see number one look at then it is released suddenly sound it is voiceless key the other sound is get sound get sound girl it is voiced the same it is velar and uh, it is a stop sound or plosive sound. This sound is glottal sound because here air escapes or, or passes through the glottis. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, sound. It is fricative sound. These are the references better English pronunciation and English phonetic sound Thank you for listening.